Okay guys, welcome back. We're in Seraph Industries. This is part two of the walkthrough. Uh, our uh, retinal display is a little glitchy, as you can tell. Like our our HUD is flashing, it's flickering. So we want to go to Pritchard's office. Uh, you can go through and loot all these, but we'll do that later. Um, let's go over here. And you want to open here. And before we talk to him, pick up these credits. Steal his lunch. What's up? About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? I got stuck in your mother on the way over. Ugh, never mind. She's probably ancient. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. He just tased us in the face. Left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry. Your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. I see Five something I don't like. If you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Uh-oh. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. I wish there was an option to, like... Grab him with my robot arm and slam his head through one of the monitors. I'm gonna say that a lot. Robot arm. It's fucking badass. <laughs> if you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. I'm gonna give you the robot finger. First. I'm the one who mm. told Sarah if we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it. You'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikes blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Good boy. I don't have to shove my robot fist up your human ass. <laughs> or foot! I meant foot! Ah shit, they're on to us, Pritchard. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go see what Seraph's up to. <laughs> Adam, I'll close you to the helipad. Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Ah, uh, I want to make an Arnold, an Arnold impersonation, but I won't. What's up, Malik? Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. And then you turn into a robot. It. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you, six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. Hell yeah. You sure you're ready for this? Look at me. I'm a robot. Only one way to find out. Roger that. <laughs> the boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. Let's do it. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. Oh, shit. I love the yellow tint they put in this game to, like, everything. It adds like a really unique atmosphere. It really makes you feel like it's in a com it's in its own you know little world. I like games that do unique things. This is definitely one of them. <laughs> Whoever did the art des or the color design for this game was definitely a Steelers fan. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. 
As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after he moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factoring. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam, so he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? Okay. So, if you choose lethal, you will get a lethal gun. If you choose non-lethal, you get one that stuns people. Simple enough, right? But the next question is going to be close relate close range or a distance weapon. If you do lethal close range you'll get a revolver. It's pointless to pick that considering you'll be able to get one at the end of this mission. If you do lethal uh, distance you'll get a combat rifle. Also pointless because those things are a dime a dozen. If you choose non-lethal close range you will get a stun gun. We can also get that much uh, we can get that pretty soon in the game so there's no point in getting that either. Uh, what you get for non-lethal long range or distance, uh, you get a tranquilizer rifle. And I guess you can buy it um, later on, but it, it is uh, on the more expensive side, and it's also uh, it's very useful to have early on. It's just good. We're going to get it. I'm not looking to start a firefight in there. Just neutralize them. Okay. But just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? I'm going to choose a distance weapon because this you really don't find the uh, tranquilizer rifle for a bit. And it's something you're going to want. And I don't want to have to spend money on it, so I want it now. All those other guns I can get, get for free. Close. I might as well get this one for free Just too. Try not to break anything expensive. The typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well. I'm sure you'll get the job done right. So yeah, you can pretty much go through this game without paying. Well, I know you can. You can go for this through this game without paying for a weapon ever, unless you absolutely want to. Um, we m might be buying some upgrades, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Um, tranquilizer rifle. I'm. I don't. I'm pretty sure I've found it. Um, in the game, like just lying around, like I can find every other gun lying around, but it's it's on the rarer side, so you might as well get it uh, in the first mission, uh, in the first real mission for free. Okay, on the roof. What's up, SWAT? I'm about to do everything single-handedly, way better than you could. So, um, I'm gonna be stealthy in the beginning of the game. Just because uh, it's good for getting it. Oh, wrong box. You want to pick up those credits under that box. And you want to pick up this beer under that box. Drink it right away because it, uh, it adds a temporary boost to your health that stays there until someone shoots you or uh, you take a fall. If you get hurt, it goes away. But for now, it just adds on. Painkillers are the same, but they're stronger. So we'll take some of those. Anything under there? No. Open this up. Go down this ladder. It's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. So that's what we're gonna do. 
Um, if you go into cover and you sneak right up to the corner, you can peek around it. Very good. You're stealthing people, and we're just gonna non-lethally knock this guy out. Just, uh. uh. Take his gun. Take his money and his, uh, his granola bar. And we're just gonna pull his body out of sight. Uh, what we're going to go for here in a lot of these missions, uh, not the entire game because that would just take so long to do the entire game stealthily. Uh, I would get an achievement for it, but that's not something I'm willing to do on camera. It's just going to take too long on camera. I, don't, I just don't want to record it. That's a lot of editing. It would take us like 20 episodes just to uh, leave Detroit for the first time. <laughs> So we're not going to do that. Uh, you want to move that box, put it there, jump up here, and jump up again, and that's that. Now if you look down here, see all the dudes we just bypassed, well, and by all of them I mean like there's only a few, but hey, uh, it'll be worth it, because uh, the ghost bonus is worth 500 XP, and that's a lot more XP than you'll get for taking down like two or three guards, so it's worth it in the long run. Now you want to go there, but um, that looks a bit painful if you ask me, if you're a robot or not. So move that out of the way. Go through here. And turn that off. And now we're good. And uh, I think we just got a traveler bonus, which is uh, obviously going to places you normally wouldn't. And explore is pretty much the same thing. And the ghost bonus, there it is. Event on the roof. It'll be in my report next time we discuss security loopholes. Oh, goody. I'll be sure to take notes. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it. Alright, so I'm going here. Open up all these lockers. I'm pretty sure all the loot when you open something up is all the same, so you should find revolver and uh, combat rifle ammo there. You can go uh, here. This doesn't give you a scholar bonus. Uh, newspapers, I don't think, ever give you anything. And uh, looking through this computer is just... Uh, it's fun to look at some emails sometimes. Some of it explains a lot to the story. And I mean a lot. Like, you can figure out a lot of shit just from reading the stuff that's in um, ebooks. So, that guy turned around. And he's going to take do a little... Yeah, he's like, oh, what, what's really going on? Let's do that. Go over here. Be careful. Uh, these guys can spot you. And you just want to look on your map and make sure none of the arrows are looking directly at you. Uh, I'm going to wait till this guy walks back over there. And I'm going to wait till that guy right there turns around and starts walking the other way. And then when you get up right to the corner, you should get the prompt to press something or tap it. If you hold it, you will just round the corner. If you press it, uh, you always got to watch out. Whenever they're walking away, they always sort of do some like sidestep thing. If you press it, you just do like a quick transition. It's good for everybody. So, go over here, move this box out of the way, and uh, don't worry about getting caught when you're climbing this ladder. I don't think they've ever spotted me doing it. And I'm gonna take this box. Try not to throw things. They hear it when you throw it, but when, like, say I'll hold it all the way up here, press X. They didn't hear that. <laughs> You can do that, like, right behind them with, like, a aluminum trash can. They don't care. The death picks up, picks up, pick up some tranquilizer darts. And we'll hop up here. Open up this vent. There we go. And you can go to the left, but we're going to go to the right. And we just got a traveler bonus, another extra 100 XP. Now, you want to be careful in this room. There is a lot to loot, but there are guys right outside. And uh, occasionally, they will. Uh, one of them will come in here. Um, actually, I've done this mission so many times, and maybe like... I always uh, do a test run of these missions, so I know what I'm doing before uh, I start uh, recording. And um, I actually got caught for the first time ever doing this mission just before. 
these guys broke up, uh, broke off for some reason, and they weren't even alarmed. One of them just happened to stroll on in here, and how to do it? Caught me. Caught with my pants down. Gosh, shit. I had to kill him. <laughs> All of them. Didn't want to do it. I like the ghost bonus. It's 500 XP, man. It's pretty good shit. So yeah, you want to go through here. I know there's revolver ammo and money. I think. We want to stock up on everything early on. Because uh, one thing you're able to do... Um, I'm not sure how this applies with um, other items in the game. But I know you can actually stash items in your apartment later and they'll stay there even uh, after uh, we, we can go to other levels for like half of the game come back and it'll still be there in the apartment waiting for you to pick it up so it's safe there I don't know if it's like uh, you know maybe it's like Skyrim where you drop off uh, something and it's just there for the rest of the game it <laughs> with Skyrim they shifted things all over the place so um oh one more thing to loot. I'm key, uh, you really want to keep an eye on that map. Sometimes these guys will stop talking. And they'll just waltz right in here. Without any warning. I'm going to open this door. I don't think that alerted anyone though. Oh. Did I pick up that beer? We can go knock all these guys out. You don't need to. Um, yeah, you don't need to. Let's go right through here. Uh, what I would do, if I wasn't sure for time, I'd throw the garbage can at the wall. Jensen, One of them would come check it out. Door, come on, Pritchard, I'm trying to talk. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Pritchard out. All right. So yeah, like I said, I'll throw the garbage can at the wall. One guy will check it out. You just sneak up behind them, knock them out. Uh, they won't be uh, alarmed. They'll go off and do their own things. So you can take them down. But uh, before I hack, show you guys how to hack, I will end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to learn how to hack, and we're going to complete this mission, and it's going to be loads of fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like this video and favorite it if you really want to help me out. I really appreciate it. Um, it'd be awesome. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more, and comments. let me know what you think about the video or my walkthrough, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching. Later.